you're tuned into the first newscast devoted to the Highland Lakes area. Local team coverage on Tribune Headline News, bringing you the stories you care about now. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on Northland Channel 15. I'm Connie Swinney for the Picayune TV. A Baptist minister and former school bus driver learns his fate in connection with a child indecency case in Llano. Also, the future looks bleak for state aid when it comes to major Burnett County roadways. However, there's still a slight chance for maintenance on some smaller roads. We'll show you who made the list. And prosecutors investigate a reckless driving charge after a motorist drives into this retention pond outside of Marble Falls business. Details coming up. We also have a look at your extended weekend weather forecast and local sports. You're watching Tribune Headline News. Stay with us. Spring and summer in Texas call for outdoor grilling with friends and family. At Bill Smith Butane, we take care of your fuel needs. Refill your propane bottles at one of our convenient locations and save big money on regular exchange prices. Bill Smith Butane. Welcome back. A judge determines the fate of a former Baptist minister and school bus driver accused of child molestation in Llano. 55-year-old Jay Robertson pleaded guilty to two counts of engaging in sexual conduct with a minor under 18 years old. On Thursday, he received 10 years probation and was ordered to register as a sex offender for life. The victim alleges the sexual abuse happened in January of 1996, around the time Robertson was a school bus driver and paraprofessional for Llano ISD. He worked with students in the in-school suspension program. He resigned from Llano ISD in 2006, shortly after he was indicted on indecency charges. Now this charge stemmed from a 1996 case. Several future road projects, including a bypass around Marble Falls, could be put on the back burner due to lack of state funding. The Texas Department of Transportation recently put a string of projects on hold while they try to prioritize the most dire of maintenance projects in the area. We'll talk about those in a moment. Some of the requests for construction included expanding highways 29 and 71 to five lanes, widening parts of highway 281 to six lanes, and widening Ranch Road 1431 to four lanes. Ranch Road 2147 northwest toward Horseshoe Bay was also on the wish list for county commissioners. Burnett County Judge Donna Klager. As far as the, the funding, uh, we're going to have to see what happens through the Sunset Review with TxDOT this year. And um, from all indications, there will be funding available in the near future only for maintenance projects. Even though major road work may be on the back burner, there's still a possibility for improvements on smaller roadways. Take a look at this list, areas of County Roads 114, 200, and 404, among others. County officials say there are no specifics about when funding for such maintenance could be available. A crash outside Home Depot in Marble Falls results in a reckless driving investigation. Burnett County authorities reported that an 18-year-old male drove this vehicle into a retention pond outside of the Home Depot on Tuesday. The report stated that no one else was in the vehicle and he was found behind the wheel. He was initially charged with Class B misdemeanor reckless driving. Authorities tell us prosecutors later dropped the charge for insufficient evidence. When we come back, we'll take a look at the weather forecast for the weekend. Northwood Healthcare Center cares about you and your loved ones. We offer long and short-term resident-centered care as well as inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation. Northwood Healthcare Center, where family matters. Welcome back. Sunny skies, mostly clear, sounds like an ideal weekend weather forecast for Burnett and Llano counties. Expect the highs around 87 for the rest of your Friday. Tonight, mostly clear with lows around 58. Mostly sunny skies on Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures hover around the mid 80s for both days too. A little cooler with a low around 53 by Sunday night. That was a look at your weather forecast for the Highland Lakes. Let's turn to headline sports with Jennifer Fierro. She has the latest on Marble Falls football and more. Jennifer? Connie, the end of the week means another night of football, and that means that the Mustangs will be traveling to face Leandra Rouse at 
Bible Stadium in Leander, 7.30 on Friday night. I had a chance to talk to one of the key figures for the Mustangs, and that's senior lineman Ronnie Boatwright. Here are his thoughts headed into the second district game this season. Well, everyone knows that we've lost a couple guys from last game, and we're just trying to work around it. Uh, we've been getting better. It's, it's, it's really hard to get over a couple games that we lost, and this is our last chance to get in the playoffs, so we're going to try our best. Once Marble Falls wraps up this game with Rouse, they will have a bye. And that doesn't necessarily mean the Mustangs will have the time to do whatever they want. In fact, one Mustang senior already has his plans booked to go to Missouri to take an official visit. And that would be senior lineman Cyril Lemon. Missouri officials were in Marble Falls on Tuesday to talk to the coaching staff and to meet with Cyril and some of his family members. He says now that he's just trying to pray for God's guidance and knowing where to go. In addition to talking to Missouri, he has also heard from Houston, Texas State, Florida International, and Stephen F. Austin. Now, Cyril is the latest Mustang to talk to several colleges. The other one, senior receiver David Morgan, who was in Lubbock attending the Texas Texas Tech game as a guest of the Red Raiders. Right after that, he was on his way to the University of Texas at El Paso to take a visit there. So congratulations to these Mustangs. We look forward to hearing great things about them and we'll keep you informed as soon as they tell us. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you. Thanks, Jennifer. He's a beloved childhood icon known across the nation. Thomas the Tank Engine of PBS fame is coming to Burnett this weekend. The Austin Steam Train Association sponsors the tour, which includes a stop at the Burnett Train Depot in the 100 block of Boundary Street. Last year, despite the rain, 18,000 people attended the event offered for the first time. A 25-minute train ride is part of the fun, along with other family activities. Tickets can be purchased online at the website on your screen. That was Tribune Headline News, where our stories are your stories. If you get a chance, don't forget to check out the Marble Falls Citywide Garage Sale on Saturday from 9 to 4 at Johnson Park. Thanks for watching us on Channel 15. For the Picayune TV, I'm Connie Swinney.